this goes back to the days before we had what we call aromatase inhibitors, mm -hmm. uh, which were originally developed for women with breast cancer, right? right? The uh, letrozole and then anastrozole. But yeah, it does get confusing because, you know, well, because of Dr. Google to start with. <laughs> anyway, people read this stuff and they go, wait a minute, wait a minute, my estrogen is not supposed to be that high. But remember, with SERMs, yeah. selective estrogen receptor modulators, mm -hmm. we are blocking the receptor. Mm -hmm. So the perception, if you will, of the pituitary or the body itself is that the estrogen is not there. We're blocking mm -hmm. that reception. That's very different than we're blocking the production. Remember I said mm -hmm. uh, estrogen is a metabolite of testosterone. So it's, it's convenient, mm -hmm. honestly, to, to uh, much more convenient to be able to use aromatase inhibitors. Mm -hmm. Okay, these things, aromatase is the, is the enzyme that converts testosterone into estrogen. Right. Most of that occurs at the liver, but can occur at fat cells and other places in the body. But then when you use that method, what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. That's what's there, that's what's available, as opposed to, yeah, you see an estradiol level of you know 82 and you go, oh my God, that's four right. times normal. Well, that's what has been made and we, we can measure that, but that's not what's being uh, used. It's not effectuating changes in the body because while it's still being made, we're saying, yeah, but we're, we're not letting you do what you're supposed to do. Right. And the two are very different. Did yeah. I do a good enough job explaining Yeah, that? no, I think okay. it's a good point, right? When people take aromatase inhibitors, although it can also increase testosterone, usually cuts their, their estradiol, their serum estradiol levels in half, right? And so sometimes people feel kind of wonky because they have low estradiol and I always describe it as it should be a Goldilocks zone. You don't want it too high, too low necessarily has to be maintain that homeostasis that you mentioned. With uh, and clomiphene, to your point, the, the levels are really uninterpretable because the estrogen receptor blockade, meaning it's not having that sort of action in the body.